Hello everybody and welcome back to the next Match 3 tutorial video. Today we're going to go ahead and further improve our UI. Um, when we left off, our UI contained a button that would start our game, like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a score button and a back button. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do this. You can drag in the game prefab. And in the game prefab, and we can delete the UI for now. In the game prefab, we're going to go ahead and add a GUI text. Uh, let's go ahead and size this to 24, middle, center, and center. And then write in a number. This is going to keep track of our score. Drag this into the game pre, uh, and then move this up to 0.9. Y. And then drag this into the game prefab. Okay, now for the game object, this one, we're going to have to create a script called the game UI. And let's go ahead and drag it on to the game object. Double click it to uh, open it up in model develop. So the game UI is going to have a couple of functions. It's going to have the void on GUI. And we're going to also create a button in here in a little bit to uh, allow us to exit out of the match. Um, we're going to need a reference to the game object, to the GUI label, or text. So a public GUI text and we'll call this our score. Now drag the score object into the uh, score area. And if you look, score has a number of fields that you can use. One of them is text. And this uh, field correlates to this one right here, which allows you to type and store strings of information. So we're going to have a function that we can call public void add score. This is going to take an int uh, amount to amount to add. And we're going to have another public int called our current score, which is going to be zero. So we're going to take our current score, add the amount to add to it, and then we're going to set score.text equals current score dot to string. So we're going to call this function with the new or with the new uh, addition to our score from our board, and then we're going to display it. So whenever we have a match, we are going to go ahead and just add one to our score. So we can go ahead and check in our in here if we want to add to our score. And we're going to add to our score if a row or a column is matched. So we can go ahead and call gameobject.find and we're going to call this name game dot get component game UI add score and we're just going to add one. And we're going to copy this line and paste it here. And save. And now if we play. And we make a match. And we make one more match because it started off at one. It'll go up to two, and so forth. Okay, so we can reset this score to zero now. 
Uh, we can copy this so we can label what our score is actually going to do. Drag it above it and then type in score. And we'll change his name to score label. Okay, um, let's go ahead and prefab this object back into its original slot. And now we also want a exit button. So if we go ahead and add a public game object, we'll call it title screen, we're going to do something similar to what we did in the UI in this line. Go back to the game UI, add this in, and we're going to instantiate title screen. Well, we don't want the button to be in the middle of the screen. Save this. Play. We're going to want this button to go up to the top corner or top corner over here. But we can move it over to, oh, we'll move it over to the top left since it's easier. This should just be 0, 0. And delete this. And we can say back to title. Um, this also takes now a game object, and we're going to drag in our UI prefab. And so now if we click here, you see the button up there. And we can click this to go back to the title, and click this to go back to the game. Now, we have to make sure that when we go from the title, we name this game object game. And to do that, in here, after we instantiate G, we're going to say G.name equals game. This is in the UI script. Okay. Click play, back to title, new game. And we need to the prefab, yes. Okay. Let's make sure this works. Great. All right. Now we can also, instead of naming this back to title, you can put an X, which most people would know as a return or an arrow if you had an image. And if we don't want this width to be this long, we can also change how long our width is. So we can say this is a 30 by 30. Yeah. Click that to go back. All right. And now we have a working score and a exit button. Uh, thanks for watching.